Apparently there are like Wi-Fi accessible grills now with like software updates. Like there's a grill, it's just like update in progress, do not power off, grill will reset. And then it, it, someone says, your holiday being ruined because your Wi-Fi barbecue needs to do a software update, some real cyber cyberpunk suburban dystopia crap. <laughs> Seriously, who the heck sends a software update for a grill on Thanksgiving? I mean... Who needs a software update for a grill? Um... So Spyro 3... I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what to say. We'll see what the seal has to say. While I was gone, my friend borrowed the Rhinox somewhere. Borrowed. And then they took it for a joyride. And, and then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Uh, uh, oh no. The Rhinox failed to see the humor in the story and stuck my friend in the jail behind you. Oh, jeez. Let's say, is the music working here? <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Alright. So last time, um, we came to this world, and this time we are playing in this world. That's about all you need to know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure last time uh, it was before Halloween and now it is after Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't remember for sure when we started this, but. Yeah. <sighs> so, um. Uh, so these days we are updating our grills. Yeah, I, I find that a little odd. Some people have grills that update with Wi-Fi, and my stove still doesn't have a built-in timer. Oh, cool. Or, or. Well, that one ever like <laughs> in this level, whenever you're going through the uh, the thing, and you just like um, you're going through like the the water tunnel thing, and he, he, and when you pass him, he's like, or something. It's just a very different voice. <laughs> I mean, the fact that this had voice acting at all, only so many games from the era had it. Yeah, or at least had decent voice acting. Uh, yeah, I guess you could have had, like, the... Actually, the Metal Gear games actually had some... You know, that one on the PS1 actually had some pretty good voice acting. It's funny, it had great camera work and great voice acting. From what I remember, it has been a very long time since I've played that one. Yeah. Awesome, Andrew. Thanks. But boy, oh well. Apparently yeah. We just... So Andrew likes to lay on things without realizing he's laying on things, and that may or may not have messed up the recording. Guess we'll have to find out eventually. Jason, show Sean the elegant, <laughs> the white tiger king. <laughs> Has it played that like nine times or something? Just... <laughs> Binjo the racist <laughs> storytelling spirit. <laughs> the whitest kids were great. <laughs> Rip and peace, Trevor Moore. Yeah, that's sad. Rip and peace that uh, um, Rip and peace is that Rhino. Excuse me, Rhino. Yeah, if you call him Rhino, that's just racist. Rhino, totally acceptable. <laughs> also, filthy one horn is uh, another acceptable term. <laughs> whoa, 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 no. The unihorn? <laughs> sounds like a. Sounds like a. Would that be like a racist term against a like a unicorn to call him a unihorn? I feel like it would be. But does it matter? Yes. <laughs> I remember oh, some really? song growing up that was talking about how, like, the reason we don't have unicorns is because they were playing around when Noah had the ark, and then the ark went and all the unicorns died in the flood. You don't wonder about some of the kids' songs you hear. Awesome. <laughs> like, 
Like, where do they come up with this stuff? Like, I remember one story growing up, and it was why female cardinals have more brown than red, or, you know, have, like, a, a mixture of the two, and yeah. male cardinals are sol pretty much solid red. Yeah. It, it was because the original cardinals, you can hover to get more like, the original there. family of cardinals, uh... <clears throat> They, the, the dad got a chance to go bathe in his pool to become red. And then it was the mom's turn, and she said to make sure to take care of the kids. And she did it a little bit, and then she heard a noise and came back. And one of the kids was choking on a worm, one fell out of the nest, and one's freaking out. So then she takes care of that. And then the dad's like, no, no, I can take care of it this time. And she goes back to try to get more red on her. And then the same thing happens again. One kid fell out of the nest, one kid's choking on a worm, and one's freaking out. And then I think it happens a third time, and the mom gives up. And that's why all cardinal females are uh, part brown, part red. What the frick are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know where the frick these stories come from or why I remember some of them. Like, that's pointless information to remember. Well, how in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Oh gosh. <laughs> that strikes me right now. How the heck am I gonna wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Maybe a shower. No more. Yeah, I know. Maybe a shower. And at the end of the song, it starts. I, I suppose the song was written before indoor plumbing or written by some weird guy. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both. And I mean, I will say, the shower thing is, uh, if it stops raining, eventually you'll run out of water, so, you know. Yeah. So eventually the shower won't have any water to give you. At least I think. Or do showers just create their own water? <laughs> I mean, food does come from the grocery store. I don't even know why we have farms since grocery stores now exist. <laughs> and the fact that there's people that still believe in the moon, I mean... <laughs> Why do people still believe in the moon? I mean, Jared here might have the answer. We, we need to teach Jared better. We need to teach him the truth. That there is no moon. Yep, there is no moon and pigeons don't exist. You know. Birds aren't real. <laughs> Yo, bro. How dare you pronounce turrets right, uh, right? It's turrets. You're supposed to say turrets. Not Tourette syndrome. <laughs> Ow. Excuse me. Time when um, you remember those times when our PS ones would mess up a lot. I don't know if we just maybe didn't treat it that well because we didn't know game consoles yet, or if it really wasn't a well-made piece of hardware. Maybe a little bit of both. I d I can tell you that the little balls that held the disc in weren't very well held in there. Yeah. That really smarts? Apparently. Please explain. What does that mean? Have you not heard that term before? No. You you haven't heard boy that smarts or something like that. No. I'm getting hurt. No. Where have you been? That is a very common thing. At least, at least in older stuff. I've never heard boy that smarts. I don't know why it's Marks, but uh, maybe we should take a poll. Why the friggity friggity frack is that a thing? And who the heck knows that it's a thing? 
Oh, he has smarts. I'm pretty sure you have her and you just suddenly forgot like a lot of things you do. <laughs> moment. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have you hear it. Well if I can find one anyway I'll look for it later. I can't hurt him. That's that ruins it. Wait I like doing this. <laughs> How? I'm holding like L1 or well you know one of the L1 and R or, or R1. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Wait. Okay, you have to like keep turning as you, as you do it. So, you so this is a very fun little question. I like this. It's a good math question. What's that? If you pick, confuse me. If you pick an answer to this random or to this question at random, what is the chance that you will be correct? Okay. And the answers are A, 25%, B, 60%, C, 50%, or D, 25%. <laughs> now, what is the answer? G. I know the answer, but what do you think the answer is? See, I'm not going to do it because that's a trick question. No, it's not. I mean, it's a trick question in the fact that I know that you have a gun in my own. <laughs> It, it's C, 50%. Because two of them are 25. I don't like math. Math. At least I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the answer. So you don't even know. You're, how can I trust you on anything? Or, or. Back in the third grade, you. you you peed and didn't flush the toilet. How, how can we trust you on anything? Uh, I peed in the bowl. That's how. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, there's a chicken in here. I gotta kill the chicken to get a skill point. I gotta kill the chicken to get a skill point. Get, getting your skill points. You know we're not trying to get all the skill points. We're just, I'm just trying to, try, trying to get it. No. <laughs> what, about, what about the pig they had in those? Uh, I think Geico commercials. Probably. What was that skill point? Oh, okay. there's a there's a chicken. Uh, in the water. Ah. I'm going to do, do the Bluto the Rhino. This is Bluto from Popeye. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Uh, there was like a Popeye. There's a Popeye cartoon from like the 50s and 60s or 60s and 70s or whatever it was. And um, Bluto the Rhino has challenged us to a naval battle. Yeah. Anyway, um... Let's see, and there we go. Um... Anyway, uh, in, in the, like, the, is it your 60s, 70s or something, uh, 50s, maybe? Um... Well, apparently, they didn't know, they thought they didn't have the rights to call it to the name uh, Bluto, so they they call Bluto in, in that cartoon they call him Brutus. Yeah. And uh, it's just kind of funny because then they're like, oh wait, we do have the right to that eventually. Wow, I just missed every shot. Way to suck. Sucks to suck. Uh. 
little of the brine off. Uh, no. This is freaky. I'm scared. I'm scared? It's like that giant shark in Banjo Kazooie. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, it's not that, but. Yeah, it's like. It's like the sound of chomping. Like, there we go. There we go. Wow! That's the first time if I see one more person texting and driving, I'm rolling my window down and throwing my freaking beer at them. <laughs> Up over here. So, do you ever wonder why Spyro scales? That's it. That's, that's where you're supposed to give an answer. What was the question? Oh, I so said, do you ever wonder why Spyro scales? Why Spyro scales? Yes. What does he scale? No, his scales. What about him? They scale the scales. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, I know. But neither does uh, putting something in the microwave and saying yeah, it's okay, it has a lid on it and all the exploding. started blowing up and he said it's okay it has a lid on it it was popping in the microwave and uh, I had a cover over it so I wasn't worried but everybody else started freaking out because <laughs> I heard popping and jumping in the microwave yeah but it was extremely loud and it was just like <laughs> you know it's okay it has a lid on it <laughs> Under the sea. 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 Here. So like, wait. <laughs> this is why it's the sound whenever you like pass them. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose that time. It's not an easy challenge. Roar! 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 It's kind of funny the logic they use sometimes though, it's just like, you can't, these things that are just floating here, well, if you don't kill them... You're all going to die. Or, yeah. Or, 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 or. <laughs> well, I seem to have a little bit of an easier time on the, uh, the, the Reignited Trilogy version. I feel like the hitboxes should be a little bigger when it comes to those things. Get good, scrub. Well, like, like you have to be too precise. Dude. But then if I, like, barely turn, it's like it goes way too far to the other way. Basically, it's all this game's fault, not my, not me at all. <laughs> so I'm suing. I'm suing. That's a, that's just a, it's you know. And then I'll complain that uh, if I lose, then um, I'll complain that on Twitter. I don't know. <laughs> I 
I still remember seeing a live stream of Seth MacFarlane. Um, whenever he was doing stuff, you're doing this challenge. I just don't feel good oh gosh! Right now. Oh, you gotta give me a second to to get my <laughs> fingers back into place. I've been playing the Zelda Game and Watch for the past few days. Hashtag promote uh, promotion. Hashtag sponsor. I don't know. Ew, it actually is a pretty well made little <laughs> device. I actually really I like it. Um. I don't know. They did a solid job with it. I hope that we get a Metroid one. Mind having Metroid two on one of those, or if they really wanted to be ballsy, they'd add enough uh, controls to let me play Metroids one through four on it. I'd pay an extra ten bucks, <laughs> like for sixty. But I had all those on one. Like, even if it was the original Metroid, Metro the original Metroid two, Super and Fusion, I'd be down. Yeah, but you know if they did that, it would be like $80 or something. <laughs> if they included Fusion, uh, and if they included, like, Metroid Zero Mission, you could probably start to justify a little more. Or, what I would really like to see with Metroid 2, because I really did not like Metroid 2 Return of Samus, it would be, uh, to have, um, like... I think it'd be cool to have Metroid 2 done in the Metroid Zero Mission engine. Oh. That would be awesome. Or, or like, uh, there was like a game, um, AM 2R or something like that, and it was oh, yeah. another Metroid 2 remake. Yeah. And one really cool thing they did is in the part where you get the baby Metroid with you, you know, the baby. Yeah. Uh, ah. Oh, this was so much easier on the Reignited Trilogy. <laughs> uh, I did this in one shot on the Reignited Trilogy. Um, like when they had the baby Metroid with you, some X pop out from Fusion, because yeah. they are native to SR388. Yeah. So then you can like have the baby Metroid eat some X. Huh. It's really cool. That's cool. Get that one. Apparently, because you, know, you have to. Yeah. Nuke him. So this is really, really accurate. I mean, I so to much read is completely accurate. <laughs> Web developers in 2020, if we split our JavaScript into separate files and load them on demand, we can make the initial request to the homepage 30 kilobytes smaller. Game developers in 2020, here's a 100, tig, 100 gig uh, download including files we're not even using anymore. <laughs> so true. Yeah. Gosh, the, uh, have you seen how big, have you... Like, see, seeing just how big uh, Halo Master Chief Collection size has gotten from all the updates and stuff. No. It's now, uh, like, I have it downloaded, but, like, it's, it's, oh, it's like 117 uh, point something gigs now. I have it on PC, so now I kind of need to know how big it is. <laughs> it's pretty big. It's, it's big. I'm probably going to try to get Halo Infinite. I'm really hoping the story is a lot better on that one. And I'm really hoping that they stick with their promise of having split-screen uh, multiplayer. I think they st it's just going to be two players, but at least there's something. And it's not just... I guess. It's not just uh, online only. I think that's what Call of Duty ended up doing later on in some of the later games, was just having two players split-screen. But at least they had it. <laughs> Your game camera... What do you have to say? At last, my portal is working again. At last, my portal is working again. Mountain Freighter. This portal is working again. You know, I'm That's amazed funny. that, like, people that are actors or, you know, make a lot of money that push for communism or even socialism and say, 
You know that you made your money in one of the most capitalistic ways possible. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyone in the entertainment industry, it's one of the most capitalistic ways you can make money. I know. Providing a service, like, it, 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 I don't get it. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's actors for you. 